these strippers got stripped. I was definitely shocked. Stripped thousands of dollars by masked men after a busy weekend dancing during the BET Awards. It happened so fast too, yeah. like so fast. The internet is divided. Some believe they were in on it. Others say they were set up. They're now speaking out for the first time exclusively on The Shade Room. What they really say happened and how their story is putting a spotlight on safety at adult nightclubs. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Maya Courtney and Ace Notorious, they want you to know that they're more than just exotic dancers. They have businesses. They are influencers. And dancing is just their means to their long-term goals. So it was a major setback when they took an Uber to a friend's house in L.A. and got robbed in the process. It was lit. It was a lot of people out. It was a lot of celebrities out. And they made bank. We worked th Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But it was that Sunday after the BET Awards that really had them seeing green. That night alone could have been like twelve to $14,000 because like, we had three big trash bags of ones. Ace Notorious is seen here in the rainbow wig. She says that they were the last pair to perform at the club before packing up their dollar bills and heading to a friend's house. It was around 5.30 in the morning. Like Maya went first. She had her phone because she was trying to call her friend. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like let like us in, let us in through the door. Turn my back. I'm punching in the code or whatever for us to get through. Like, you know, how you have to call to get buzzed in. Whole time, she is seeing these guys running up. I don't even All see I heard them. was, yo. Yeah, like, I was like, even, yeah, I didn't even see them yet until I turn around. And I'm like, oh, like, what the? Like, this is crazy. Ace, visibly startled, puts her hands up but keeps cool as one of the men takes her duffel bag full of money and checks her pockets. Maya, seen here in the green, is noticeably calm and from the side looks to be smiling before they take her belongings. Like, we was in shock. We didn't instantly, like, we're not like, this is not a movie. We're not screaming and crying. And, like, we just yeah. looking at each other like, damn. I'm not the type of person I feel like, if I'm nervous, I might laugh a little not even laugh but like a like an awkward like no she laughs at everything <laughs> and that is the moment at the center of this controversy tens of millions of views later opinions started flying on twitter quote i think the girl in the green was in on it she was overacting and she too calm afterwards another user wrote quote the woman in the green set the other girl up the only one scared and acting surprised is the girl with the black sweater and another Quote, green shirt is in on it. So Maya, you have been the center of all of the backlash. Maya, people have really, really been focusing on you and your reaction. And uh, people are saying that you possibly were in on it. Can you set the record straight about that? Let me just let everybody know right here, right now. This is my friend. This is my sister. This is my partner. Like we were friends way long before this. Before this we were starting like, dancing together. Yeah. yeah. So this is like, it's kind of, it's really sad to see the internet really do that because like, you don't know what we're going through. And we're like, we're already going through trauma, just going through the situation alone. And then for you to sit there and paint your own narratives, it's like, like, it makes me even more depressed. Like, I'm already going through it. Like, damn, I just took a loss. I just took an L. It was too comfortable. We were too it was comfortable. definitely too comfortable. Do you feel like they, the guys followed you from the club? Do you feel like the Uber driver may have reached out to someone knowing that, you know, there were women who had a large sum of money in their suitcases? Honestly, it was such a busy night that night. It could have just been anybody yeah. paying attention to what mm -hmm. we made out. Right? I'm talking about... Me and her that night alone as two dancers, because usually how it works in the clubs is girls will make money with other females and you got to stay late night to count your money and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Me and Maya were dolo making yeah. all that bread that night. So yeah. somebody must have been paying attention. This should be a, a warning signal for you guys. So what are you guys thinking about doing in the future? Definitely gun license. Um, we, yeah, we're not moving so freely no more. Mm -mm. Especially after the heartbreaking news that rocked the city of Atlanta back in May. 31-year-old influencer and performer Tisha Bruley, who was shot and killed in what police called an ambush while riding in the back of an Uber in Buckhead. The Uber had just picked her up from the famed Allure nightclub where she worked. Somebody shot, somebody killed her in my car. Okay, listen, I need to know where you are. Police say 
she was targeted. Never would have thought that something like this would happen to her. This is, this is not what I this is not what I saw for her. It's a trend that Trevor Young says is disturbing. He's a security manager at Atlanta's popular Blue Flame Lounge. Sadly enough, some of these guys prey on on dancers. They understand that they're like walking. ATMs. Young says that every adult nightclub does have its security challenges. Blue Flame is no different. He took us around the facility to get a closer look at what they do to keep their staff and visitors safe. You have uh, cameras here on the front, cameras on the side. We have cameras and lights all the way in the forest, watching all angles of our parking lot mm -hmm. and the front of our building. He says that all dancers and bartenders have a designated parking lot. It's a little bit more difficult for them to be followed. That area that we have for them is, is off limits to, to, to nearly everyone. He then took us inside where his team of armed security officers check people for weapons and drugs before they enter. Security cameras watching everything go down. Outside, Comcast employees were also seen wiring their new cameras, which will give Atlanta police direct feeds. And when employees leave, often in the wee hours of the morning, he gives them a nugget of advice. Well, to be honest, carrying money is the, is the goal, you know? Um, but I tell them, and take your straight home. Ace and Maya say that's what they'll do from now on, but will likely make a pit stop to the bank to make a deposit next time. Although they say it was extremely disappointing losing all that money, they are pushing forward and hope to make it back soon. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.